In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 ancient animals that exist no more. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Many magnificent species have perished as a result of humanity's impact on the environment over the last 10,000 years. This post will show you photographs and data about 15 extinct animals that are sure to pique your interest. In recent times, there have been two major eras of anthropogenic extinction, part of the ongoing Anthropocene mass extinction event. Many extinctions occurred around 10,000 years ago as a result of retreating ice following the end of the last glacial period, early Holocene epoch, which harmed the habitats of various species. Humans, on the other hand, contributed by hunting some larger species, megafauna. The second period began roughly 500 years ago, and it corresponds to the age of human exploration, colonialism, and industrialization. Many species were unprepared for the arrival of humans and farm animals into their surroundings, and as a result, they were hunted or their habitats were destroyed, leading to extinction. Human society's industrialization has increased habitat loss both directly, via toxic waste, and indirectly, through pollution, with climate change. Number 10. Tasmanian Tiger, 1936. The Tasmanian tiger, Thylacin, evolved roughly 4 million years ago and was the largest carnivorous mammal of the modern era. It went extinct in the 1930s as a result of overhunting by farmers who blamed it for the deaths of their sheep and poultry. A lack of habitat due to agriculture, sickness, and the introduction of dogs were further contributors. From head to tail, this amazing species existed in Tasmania, Australia, and New Guinea, and could grow to about 2 meters in length. The Tasmanian tiger, apex predator, was at the top of the food chain, ambushing prey such as kangaroos, wallabies, possums, birds, and small animals at night. It could open its jaws 120 degrees and distend its stomach to consume vast amounts of food, allowing it to thrive in sparsely populated places. It was a unique marsupial in that both sexes possessed a pouch, which the male utilized to cover his genitals while sprinting through the undergrowth. Number 9. Japanese Honshu Wolf, 1905. On the Japanese islands of Shikoku, Kyushu, and Honshu, the Honshu wolf, Canis lupus hodophylax, lived. It was the smallest wolf species in the Canis lupus family, with a body length of roughly 3 feet and a shoulder height of 12 inches. The kami, wolf, is regarded as a messenger of the kami spirits and also provides protection against crop raiders such as wild boar and deer in Shinto belief, Japan's traditional religion. On Honshu alone, there are an estimated 20 Shinto wolf shrines. When rabies was accidentally introduced to the Honshu wolf population in 1732, either intentionally or through domesticated dogs, the disease killed a great number of animals and made them more aggressive toward people. Because of their increased contact with humans as a result of the degradation of their native habitat, they were heavily hunted until their extinction in 1905. Number 8. Quagga, 1883. The Quagga, Equus Quagga, a stunning half-zebra, half-horse creature, is actually a zebra subspecies that split some 200,000 years ago and went extinct in the 19th century. The quagga was a South African tribe named from the sound they make, onomatopoeic. In 1883, it was hunted to extinction to protect the area for agricultural animals, as well as for its meat and hides. Settlers saw quagga as a threat to their sheep, goats, and other livestock. Furthermore, because many people referred to zebras as quaggas in general, no one recognized their fall until it was too late. Number 7. Atlas Bear, 1870. The Atlas bear, Ursus arctos crowthery, is a North African extinct bear subspecies. After an English serviceman named Crowther brought it to the public's attention in 1840, zoologists recognized it as a unique species. This bear was larger and more robust than the American black bear. It was Africa's sole native bear that made it to the present day. In the late 20th century, the Atlas bear became extinct. Environmental changes and habitat loss are likely to have contributed to a reduction in numbers for this species, as they have for many others on this list. Local tribes overhunting and the arrival of modern firearms, which made it easier to kill bears. Both had major roles. Number 6. 
Great Auk, 1852. The Great Auk, Pinguinus impennis, was a flightless bird that looked like a penguin today. It was a strong swimmer, stored fat for warmth, nestled in dense colonies, and mated for life, just like the penguin. However, it possessed a heavy hooked beak. It resided in the North Atlantic Ocean and could grow to about three feet in height. Europeans began hunting the great auk in the 16th century in order to obtain its prized down feathers for pillows. Later, the bird was hunted for fishing bait in North America, and it was frequently subjected to atrocities such as being skinned and burned alive for feathers and food. Because great auks don't fly, they're easy to trap. Museums and collectors wanted their own, dead, specimens as the species got rarer, eventually driving the bird to extinction in 1852. Number 5. Stellar Sea Cow, 1768. The Stellar Sea Cow, Hydrotomalus gigas, was a large, plant-eating sea mammal that looked like a manatee. It might, however, reach a length of 9 meters, 30 feet. George Wilhelm Steller discovered it, and Europeans who followed Steller's trail drove it to extinction within three decades. Because of its existence in shallow waters where it would eat on reeds, this gentle species was simple to hunt. It was hunted for its meat, fat for oil lamps, and skin for boat liners and went extinct in 1768 after being hunted for its flesh, fat for oil lamps, and skin for boat liners. Number 4. Moa, 1400. The Moa, Dinornithiformes, was a massive flightless New Zealand bird species. They may reach about 4 meters, 12 feet, in height and weigh 230 kilograms. Despite their enormous size, the bird's vertebrae indicate that they spent a lot of time with their necks pointing forward. Low-pitched, resonant calling sounds were most likely produced by their long necks. Humans were the primary cause of the MOA's extinction, according to DNA testing conducted in 2014. Archaeological evidence also implies that people ate these birds at any age which would have made reproduction extremely difficult for them. Number 3. Woolly Mammoth, 2000 BC In the early Holocene, the woolly mammoth, Mammothus primogenius, inhabited much of the northern hemisphere's Arctic tundra, just after the last glacial period, 11,700 years ago. These gigantic creatures could grow to be 11 feet tall and weigh 6 tons, making them almost the same size as African elephants. Yet the Asian elephant is their closest relative. It was, however, covered in brown, black, and ginger fur, unlike the elephant. To avoid frostbite, it had a shorter tail. Humans coveted the woolly mammoth's long tusks, which were used for warfare and foraging. They were also hunted for food, but climate change at the end of the last glacial period likely hastened their extinction. The retreating ice destroyed most of their habitat, reducing their population to the point where humans were able to hunt them down and exterminate them. Number 2. Irish Elk, 5200 BC Irish Elk, Megaloceros giganteus, colonized much of northern Europe during the end of the last glacial period, from Ireland to Siberia. They are more exactly characterized as giant deer because they had little in common with extant elk species. They may reach a shoulder height of 7 feet and a weight of 700 kilograms. They had the biggest antlers of any deer species, measuring up to 12 feet in breadth. Males used their massive antlers to scare rivals and impress females, thus it's likely that they evolved through sexual selection. Irish elk first appeared roughly 400,000 years ago and died out about 5,000 years ago. Hunting was most likely a factor in their extinction. However, as the ice receded, New plants flourished, possibly leading to a deficiency in nutritional micronutrients. Calcium was particularly important for the animal's huge antlers to grow. Number 1. Smilodon, 10,000 BC Although it had existed as a different species for roughly 2.5 million years, the Smilodon, saber-toothed cat, lived in North and South America at the end of the last glacial period, 115,000 to 11,700 years ago. Smilodon populator, the largest subspecies, could weigh 400 kilograms, be 3 meters long, and stand 1.4 meters tall at the shoulder. Despite its name, Smilodon was constructed more like a bear than a tiger, with short, 
muscular limbs that were not intended for speed. Its famous canines, which could reach a length of 30 centimeters, one foot, were weak and were mostly employed for biting into sensitive neck tissue once its prey had been subdued. It had a 120-degree opening of its jaws, but a feeble bite. Smilodon hunted megafauna, bison, deer, and tiny mammoths, but also scavenged, implying that it was a gregarious animal. The extinction of Smilodon occurred at the same time as the arrival of humans, who were known to have hunted many native species. This may or may not have included Smilodon, but it almost certainly included its megafauna prey, possibly resulting in a food shortage. Because of its stocky size, Smilodon would have had a harder time hunting smaller, nimbler prey, which may have led to its extinction. Climate change, retreating ice, was also a factor, as it destroyed its habitat as well as that of its prey. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.